Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Mahulan na araw po sa ating lahat. But first of all, let us thank the Lord for this uh, beautiful Monday afternoon that He guides us once again uh, to give us opportunity to praise and worship Him. We are now on the 22nd week, Monday in Ordinary Time. And I'm sure you heard our readings today, particularly the Gospel many times. But again, upon reflecting, let me share to you some of my thoughts and reflections on our readings today, particularly on the Gospel. While reflecting, I remember one day I visited a sick person named Mang Rudy. He, his sister fetched me early morning and the family requested me to bless the house before the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. And so I did. After his confession, I prayed for his immediate recovery. Mang Rudy confided that he was not able to have a good sleep last night for he was so eager to receive the sacrament. He now wanted to live a renewed life in the Lord far different from his former life. Mang Rudy was so thankful for receiving this sacrament. I could not forget what he said. Father, thank you for your visit. I was blind for so long only now that I began to see the goodness of the Lord, His wonderful blessings, His love for me. Everything that had happened to me has a purpose. Thanks be to God, He told me. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, Jesus proclaims, The Spirit anointed me to preach the good news to the poor, bring liberty to the captives, give sight to the blind. This are words of liberation, consolation, and freedom. But for those who are blind to the truth, they are beyond belief. The people in Nazareth, we also hear our gospel for today, could not believe that Jesus was the Son of God, the Anointed One. They were more concerned with the earthly origin of Jesus, that He was just the Son of Joseph, the Carpenter, and Mary. What is the point of our Gospel for today? my dear brothers and sisters, the essential things are hidden to naked eyes. It is only the eyes of faith that see God's beauty and goodness. This is the experience of Mang Rudy this is the experience of many 
of us. Let us always allow ourselves to be amazed by the Lord's mission for all of us. And that is to see the beauty and goodness of God in all wonderful things He is doing for us. Sa mga walang malalim at tunay na pananampalataya, mahirap pong maniwala. Pero sa mga may pananampalataya, nakikita ang kagandahan, pagmamahal at kabutihan ng Diyos.